Alright, hi guys. Uh, first of all, I'm really, very, very, very sorry that the video wasn't uploaded yesterday, Monday. But I was having troubles with my with my internet, and uh, they they weren't like uploading it right. So I chose not to do it. Better late than bad, you know. So I'm really sorry for that. And here it is. I'm gonna put all the descriptions down in this in the sub bar where you can follow Jolie and a dog and that's pretty much it I'm really sorry that the video wasn't uploaded on time yesterday and I'll try not to make it happen again but there, it was about factors out of my out of my hands the internet just wasn't working so I'm really sorry but here it is the next video and enjoy it it makes it more complicated now to delete friends. Really? Like, you have to go to each your page. individual page, I think. No, you could go to friends. Like, you know, you go to your profile, type in, go to where you said you have your friends, and then just go down the list, and where and you have friends. Why are you deleting people? So, it's Monday again, and I'm with a panel of women, and their names are... Belkis. A dog. And Jolie. Jolie. These are one of my, like... Three of my best girlfriends. Mr. Incognito. And Mr. Oh. Incognito over there doesn't want to be on YouTube. Yeah, though. he announces his name. You can only hear his voice. You can only hear his voice. If he wants <laughs> to comment, he can comment. <laughs> Alright, so what I want to talk to you guys about today was uh, girls and their confusing bullshit on the internet. Because it confuses the crap out of me and I wanted to get a girl's point of view on this okay. thing. One of the examples I gave them is that when girls put posts online and I'm... And they they say that oh I want I want a man that treats me right a man that takes me out a man that makes me laugh a man that makes me do this and this and this and this, but when they finally get that guy they're like oh you're like a friend let me friend zone you and put you over there and let me go and date a person that's completely not what I asked for or what I want. Why is that? I don't know. It's just I find that shit like they're just wanting to know. fit into a. <laughs> Fit into a, like a cookie cutter type of thing and just wanting to like but then look they for don't attention. But they follow the mold. Yeah. But why? Well, I think it depends on age. Most of the girls who post are younger than us. That's like true. 15, 14, top 16. Oh no, but like I'm gonna cut you off there because a lot of the people that I know that are my age post that shit Sweet. too. Let me say something. Okay. <laughs> I love how guys are always like, girls are so confusing, they post this, but they don't want this in reality. Let me tell you something, boo boo. <laughs> okay? I think that guys are just as complicated as girls, and they are always complaining, but yet they're always like, I don't want a girl who would, you know, be my best friend, and, and then That's be a slut in bed, and then be <laughs> this, and then know how to cook, and then comb my hair, and then know how to do this, and sew when I, my button falls off. I don't know, you guys ask for the weirdest shit, <laughs> depending on every guy, whatever. But all I'm saying is that I think people in general complicated. expect complicated things from complicated ass people who don't exist, and let me just say this too. Girls are complicated. If they don't like you, if they're posting those things and you're doing them, maybe you're just not the one that they're feeling. There has to be those things plus a little mm. As far as the whole like friend zone kind of thing, as long with those qualities that I would imagine that a girl would list, like being respectful and all of that, there's also needs that guy needs to have that little edge or that little, you know, kind of like Bring he has in. to go for it too. Oh. He can't just be respectful. He has to let me know that, you know, like So he wants him to be all over you? No, no. Not at all, not all over me, but like if I see you but as then, a no, if I see no. you as a friend, it's because you haven't come at me, right? Okay, but when when yeah. when guys do come at you right, you can like, oh, this guy's so clean, you don't leave me alone. No, 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 because yeah. they're not the one. The person that you're supposed to be with, it should be easy. And when you meet them, it should be like, this is the one type of thing. I want to be with this guy. It shouldn't be like, oh, because he likes the same color as me and that's important. Or, oh, because he likes dogs and I'm a dog person and that's important <laughs> too. It's about that, mm, if there's no... God, you're fucking awesome. Then there's no relationship. But yes. like a lot of girls are more like, like, oh, I like personality. I like you can like the personality, like but they just don't have that quality. That what, one. What thing is that, that one it's thing? It's the it's when, oh. it's when you feel it. It's when it's you feel it. It's the impact. You can. You, you can, can feel can. a connection. It's something inside. It's like Jesus.
<laughs> Why do girls say that they value personality over everything and then they just date all these people that have nothing of personality? But why do guys well. do that too? Guys uh-huh. are guys, okay? And a girl can't be a girl. Girls can't have niggas. Niggas, shut shut your mouth. Guys, guys are guys. No. Why can't girls do the same thing? This is the 21st century. I, I, just I just pick the socks yeah. I want to wear in the morning. Guys are only after one thing if they are doing that. But what if girls just want that too? There are women like that who just There's want women to do it. who want their coos to get a little mooch in it. But I'm saying, like, dating wise. Okay, well, what are you getting well, at? Because we, pr- we pretty much dumped on you. <laughs> if, if a girl is still with a guy and maybe he is in everything else, maybe he has something else to offer. Like what? Money? <laughs> probably. That's because, probably like, it. like, I find it very pointless that you go and post all these things that you want online and then date. Something that's completely different. Honestly, right? okay, you know who I think is fucking beautiful and I will lick all over even if he didn't shower for like seven years? Now, Will Smith is my baby, baby. <laughs> Am I dating a guy that looks like Will Smith? Hell to no, we know that. <laughs> Not even in a million years. He has a beautiful personality and we're like best friends. But you about, were like, saying that before. You were saying girls say, I like the personality, but then they don't go for that. They go for the other guys, you know, the guys who are like, look at my pick. And not all girls do that. And if you are lo- liking a girl or loving a girl that does do that and she just like knows your ass, she not the one. Move on, bro. There's some <laughs> more hoes in the sea. <laughs> some that know how to hold off a little longer than the other ones if that's what you prefer. I just wanted to know where you girls come from because like I go through the things online and I'm just like what the fuck Like where do you see this most? Tumblr, Tumblr. Everywhere in Tumblr And, and girls Facebook are like I want too. a guy who can hold me at night They're just idealistic thoughts that a girl has It's not like what It never happens that. Yeah I It mean, never happens That's exactly What you want never comes the way you want it Yeah It's like a gift She has a point like We grew up with like those fairy tales and you know the Prince Charming and how he's supposed to like, you know, fight off the whole world, you know. And like with that idea comes like, you know, the, the thought of respect, of like maturity and all that other stuff that you want to throw in there. So in part, I mean, you can blame us, but then again, I mean, we're all our own people and we should be able to decide and make our own minds. But that's something we've, that's been kind of ingrained in us since we were young girls. That's what I was thinking the other day too. I you was know, like, that does like have we're, we're living in a, in a time of, of like, in a time when girls are like clashing with these two ideas that you have to be independent but at the same time you have to be like a woman from the back then like, what the hell well, these women want to be in the, charming, these so. women exactly. have to be these women want to be independent and make their own money and all of that but at the same time they want like a man to be there taking care That's of them the coming back from a hispanic background as a woman you're expected to to live with a man that's just the normal. You're supposed to live with the man. You're supposed to, you know, like when he comes home, have dinner on the table, like, you know, that all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you know, as the, just the way it's just like the woman should be protected by a man. But the thing is that the way society society is and the way the world is, it's not always guaranteed that you're going to end up with a man. It's not divorce rates are like up in the sky, you know. So because of that, we have to learn how to fend for ourselves and be independent because we know that, you know, not it's not it's forever. not secure it's not something that's forever exactly you know so the thing is like you're t- you're being told by your mom and by your dad that you know like my mom she doesn't want me like she doesn't want me to move out of the house until I'm ma- until I'm married she doesn't think that she can like sleep or have a peaceful like mind unless, I wish that unless, was my mom. unless she feels that, she, that I have a man who can protect me and take care of me if anything were to happen but I'm like mom flip out of yeah there. but that's just how the things are back there in DR yeah. and that's how it is you know the man is supposed to be you know protect and take care of like you know once the mom's job is done is the man's job to take care of her daughter that's just how that's just how they take think. care of myself but I tell her, I think I can take care of myself, and I'm more than capable of myself, and I know that. You're the one who cooks for the man. He won't survive without you. <laughs> <laughs> but I cook for myself. And you're one of the ve- very, very few. few. Okay. And that's the thing. That's that's where, like, the two worlds cra- clash. So where know? can we place the blame on all this bullcrap? We can't blame p- the blame on anything. It's not, it comes uh, all from different sources. Do we place it on ourselves? Like I mean, on each one of us, or do we place it on, like, on, on the outside, everything I mean, that okay. turns us into the person we are? I mean... It's just that it, it it's your life, and you take how the everything else, I mean, each person's different. You take how things from the outside world affect you differently. It's it's your choice if you're going to let it take control of you or not. I mean, 
it's it's up to you. That we never ask questions directly. We Why? Kind of always. Why? It's I'm more a, fun that I'm way. a I'm a no bullshit type of person. Like if I'm if I want to get to something, I will get to something quick. Because you're direct. Like I feel with some guys you can't be direct because they'll get offended. I would get offended if you're not direct with me and then and then I just get pissed. I don't know. It depends on the situation actually. I mean, it's one thing to be like playing with someone and like like just like. I don't know how to say it, but like just kind of avoiding the situation, just like you know, touching it and like you know, like dipping your feet into the pool and dipping it out, you know, instead Why? of going back in. Why do you do that? It depends. I mean, sometimes you, you just. The, water is the thing too <laughs> is that sometimes people aren't up straight with you when you're up straight with them. If anything, sometimes when you come at someone directly, they get more guarded. But why do you do that? Because it's the room. It's the but sure when way you getting. no 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 because when you go direct to something, like sometimes you won't get the direct. Answer. Yes, you will get like. Like either really, really sto like a story that's complete so bullshit, bullshit or a, or or the truth. Well, I would rather. And it's gonna be way easier to find out because if like like if you know your man is cheating with somebody, be like, I know you're cheating with that woman, and they gonna be like, uh, 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 what? That's not true. Yeah. That's not true yes. at all. Yes. Oh, yeah, he would. He, he will would. get like, uh, uh, what the know. fuck? Like, how do you know this? And then and then you'd be like, I saw well, you. I've never been in that position. Yeah, he'll so stay quiet know. and not know yeah. what to say for a while, and then he'll come up. With the, like the moving excuses. But you see, he'll come day. up with the excuses, but you, you know, like, I would rather just get a surefire confession or it, get him in a position where he has no choice but to write that in there confess. Because at that time, you know that he's making up stories. But so he'll just say he's that a he cheater wasn't making and then he's up. a liar. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather him well, just be a cheater. Well, that's you don't forgive lie. him and you're like a bitch back and you're like, see ya later. It's just that sometimes guys aren't straight up. Some guys are, and sometimes you just have to, you have to like, trick them into confessing. Guys, the fuck? Is this the conclusion of your video? I think this is the conclusion to this video. Let's Damn, just, maybe let's just, just leave, out at every point. Let's just leave it at that. Girls are fucking confusing and guys are assholes. Oh, uh, That's okay, it. Okay, okay. I can agree That's with that. That's it. Yeah. And that uh, girls need to get their priorities sorted out and guys need to stop Act being like guys. Men. Yes. Join the army. So, army men are just as crazy. Don't get me started. So, well, sure. this was me. They want you mean. to get not, they want it too fast. What? Hey baby, I love you, the day after high school. Hey baby, second day after high school ends it. Let's have a kid. Hey baby, third day, once the kid comes out, let's get married. Hey baby, I'll see you in three years. Comes back, gives some more kids, goes back, <laughs> gives some more kids. He's what? protecting you. I get it, you get pregnant. <laughs> 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 Their life is very fast paced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. So I mean, they know the value of life. They do. Yeah, they're like, because they, they see people getting blown up every day. And they're like, tomorrow, that could, unfortunately, that could be. They oh have God. to make up for the people that are getting blown up. You know, once it gets out, our they population. Put one our population. Oh, I keep so doing this wrong. Okay, so <laughs> this was. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you guys later next Monday. I'm gonna be talking about the bro code. So is this like the guy, the guy thing now? What? The guy channel where they're doing on TV? No, because like a lot of guys don't know about the bro code and they break it. What's the bro code? Yeah, I wanna know. Basically, don't do one. If you guys wanna know what the bro code is, stay have, tuned. Stay for the tuned. Next video. Peace boom, out. Boom, boom, boom. Goodbye, Monroe. Woo! Oh.